Have you ever made a unitard yourself? I'd like to show you how I made mine. Just in case you don't know, a unitard is a skin-tight, one-piece garment with long legs and sometimes long sleeves, which is what makes it different from the leotard. In my case, it is one leg and off shoulder on one side. My name is Natalia. I'm a former dancer and dance costume designer. I have been creating all kinds of dance costumes for my clients all over Europe for more than 10 years. We will need one and a half meter of lycra fabric, elastic band, black threads, and about 15 centimeters of the feather fringe. I have already prepared my fabric with a pattern on, and I adjusted the pattern according to the measurements of my client. I am making my marks, crotch, marks on the back and front of the legs, and the back. My pattern doesn't have the seam in the middle of the front part of the body, this is why I don't have crotch on the front pattern, and I have a wider crotch on the back pattern. I measure the inseam on the front and back of the leg to make sure the length is the same. I measure the side till the waistline, at the front and at the back to be the same. Mark it and draw a nice curvy line from the waistline to the armhole point. This will be the cut out on the back. Chalk the pattern around. This is the point of the crotch at the front part. I cut the leg till here. Remember, I don't have the seam in front. Chalk the rest of the pattern around. And now we can cut the fabric, pin the part together and we can start sewing. I use the stretch stitch on a brother machine, is number 4. I start by sewing the seam in the middle of the back. And I like to make the stitch on the stretchy fabric about 0.7 cm from the edge. When you work with the stretchy fabrics, always check the elasticity of the stitch. I continue with the inseam. I sew it all together, starting from the bottom of the one leg, going to the crotch and all the way to the bottom of the other leg. And last are the side seams. And you already know, I always check my seams at the end. Now I have all the parts sewn together and you can see that I also cut one shoulder off on the front part. It's the time to try the unitard on the mannequin to check the fitting and also to mark the place where exactly I will cut off one leg. It's done and let's continue with the searcher. I trim all the seams with the searcher. The only seam I left without searcher is the one in the middle of the back to spread the seam nicely later. First, I trim the side seams. I continue with trimming the inseam. Sewing in the elastic band is not as easy as it seems. Remember, don't pull the fabric, but the elastic band, and not a lot. A sort of a medium stretch. And yes, always check the seams that you've made and the elasticity. Now fold in the edge of the fabric with elastic band and we are going to make the zigzag seam on the top. Set the zigzag stitch on your machine to the size you like. I like the small one, 2 by 3. Trim the elastic around the neckline, the back and the panties. And of course I check the seam, and it's perfect. Now we need to fix the bottom leg part. Fold in the fabric about 1 cm and pin it. I kept the same zigzag size, 2 by 3. Don't pull the fabric, 
just keep going straight. And yes, the seam is good. The fitting is perfect and now we will measure the elastic bands that will hold the shoulder part. Pull the elastic band at a medium stretch from the shoulder all the way under the opposite arm. Mark it with a pin or chalk and same thing on the other side. Now we need to cut pieces of lycra to cover the elastic bands. Use your leftovers. The stripes of the fabric should be double the width of the elastic plus 1 cm. Sewing the elastic stripes. Set the zigzag stitch on your machine to the medium size. I like 2 by 4. Place the lycra in the middle of the elastic band. As you sew, slightly pull the elastic band, just a bit, but not the fabric. Wrap the elastic band around with lycra, make sure it fits firmly and make another zigzag seam on the top, slightly stretching while sewing it. Cut unnecessary fabric from the both ends, one and two, and cut unnecessary fabric along the stripe. Check the stripe and trim one end with zigzag stitch. I do exactly the same things for the second stripe. The stripe is perfect. Sew the stripes to the shoulder part. It appeared to be a bit thick and I had to go very slowly, but it came out really nice. So we see a perfect fitting. I am very happy with the result. I sew two hooks on each elastic stripe, so it will be very easy to put it on. You need good and strong hooks. The panties part fits perfect and the shoulder part as well. My client asked me to make some armbands for her, the elastic bracelets. To sew the elastic bracelets, I do exactly the same things I did when sewing the elastic stripes to hold the shoulder part. Zigzag stitch 2 by 4. Once you're done with lycra covering, fold the band in half and with a regular straight stitch on your machine, sew a double seam front and back. Spread the seam and fix on both sides with regular straight stitch front and back a few times. It's ready. Check the seams and try on the bracelet. The unitard is ready for the crystals. As you see, I added the skin color elastic on the other shoulder and I already sewed the feathers. Firstly, I pinned them and then I sewed them by hand and I did all of this while the costume was on the mannequin to keep the right elasticity. And finally, crystals. I choose three colors of big crystals, light siam, Astral Pink and Citrine B, and two colors of flatback crystals, Light Siam and Light Siam AB, in sizes SS16 and SS20. I love to combine the different shapes and sizes. It gives dimension and better sparkle. I always pin my big crystals first to be sure I'm happy with the design. Choose the best glue you can find, the strongest one. Unpin the crystals, but don't remove the pins completely, so that this way you know exactly where the crystals should go. 
Squeeze a small amount of glue on the crystal, place it back and pin it again. This way they won't fall or slide off while the glue dries. Let's tone the bracelets while the big crystals on the unit art are drying. I mark the exact place where I want the big stones to be. Here I used only big light cyan prompts and flat bags SS20 in the same color. And as I said before, I like to pin the big crystals until they get dry. And I repeat again, this way they won't fall or slide off till the glue dries. Let's tone the rest of the unit art. Once the big crystal dry, I remove all the pins. I continue with the flat box and I mix them. Two sizes, two colors. Oh well, I wish that the whole process of making this outfit would take me less than 15 minutes, like this video. In reality, it took me three full working days. But I love my job. I absolutely love what I'm doing. I hope you enjoyed this video and like my work. I'll be happy to answer all your questions, so leave your comments below and like the video. Check my Instagram to see more of my creations and costumes available for sale. Subscribe to my channel, I'm posting new videos every week. Always with love, Natalia.